Hi everyone. So uh, now that we've set up the my domain, uh, the next step here is how do we set up Salesforce as an identity provider? So you see here I'm at my custom domain, about to log in, <clears throat> and when I log in here, what we want to do is go to setup and identity provider. Okay, so now as you see here, um, what we have is, uh, since we already set up our My Domain, that automatically becomes your issuer. So this is the issuer, and this is the certificate. So this is important in the next step in setting up um, SAML and single sign-on um, with another org, is uh, now that Salesforce, uh, your Salesforce org is an identity provider, um, what you'll need to send on to the... Uh, service provider org is going to be the issuer and then the certificate so you're going to download the certificate and um, send it to the service provider um, and then it, you know using some type of encrypted email to make sure it's safe um, and then you'll also send uh, this issuer uh, URL now what happens then and what we'll show in the next part of this um, of this blog is uh, the service provider will take the issuer um, URL and the certificate you send and they're going to send you back the entity ID and uh, um, uh, the ACS URL which will allow you to create the connected app and uh, set up um, single sign-on with this org. Thank you.